Um, this is Miss Shames, and thank you all so much for those of you who logged into Google Classroom today and got started with the remote learning. Thank you for being in touch with me and asking me questions. Um, I'm really proud of all of you. Um, I just want to walk through how to turn in assignments on Google Classroom um, to make it super clear so I can do my best to give students feedback and help with their assignments. So I'm going to log in as a student. I'm actually logging in as Melanie right now. Um, so you'd see this when you'd log in, come on in. And then what I'm gonna try to do each day is make an agenda for the day that I say what order you do the assignments and also um, my expectations for what you would submit. So for example, this is for tomorrow, Tuesday, March 24th. So first would be math review. And I said, complete it in the remote learning packet or on blank paper, snap a picture and upload it. Okay, so you would go to classwork, um, go to math review, and then you can see this is the math review assignment. A lot of you have it in your packet, um, but if you don't have the packet, I uploaded it here for you to look at. Um, so you could do it in your packet or on blank paper. Um, for this, you would need to snap a picture and upload it. So in order to do that, a lot of you um, have the app, the Google Classroom app on your phone. That's probably the easiest. Then you could just snap a picture on your phone and you would go to this box on your phone on the app, add or create, and you could upload a file. Um, if it were me, if I was using a computer, I would maybe, um, airdrop the picture to the computer and upload it as a file. Um, but this is the place to go, add or create, and then you can turn it in that way. Um, so then to go back to the main page, okay, next is problem of the day. Um, complete in remote learning packet or on blank paper, snap a picture and upload. So go to classwork, here are all the topics. Then you go to problem of the day, um, this is the one for Tuesday. Um, you can also look at the instructions. So this is the same thing. You'd complete it pencil and paper for pen and paper, and then go to this section to upload your picture. That way I can see your child's work um, and give them feedback. It's a little better to me than just them submitting the answer so I can see what errors they made. Some of you did that successfully and I was able to you know, really pinpoint what error you made. Um, okay, let's go back. So next would be close reading. Read the poem at dusk. Answer the two short response questions in the Google Doc. So here you're going to go to close reading. Go to this one. Um, you can watch the video. Sometimes you might see extra files like in this section. Some of that is just me trying to you know, provide you with extra materials or extra support. So for instance, I attach the short response rubric. You don't need to do anything with that. That's just like a reminder for how short responses are graded and what's the expectations for them. But in this case, um, if you go to your work, there was a document here that already existed. Um, so always check to see if there's something here. Um, so that way you could just click on it. Each student will have one. Um, she could type in her responses here. I won't actually do that. And then once you're done, you can press turn in. Um, but I'll X out of that. Okay, so let's keep going. So next is RTI Genius Hour. Um, and I'm going to try to make this so it's consistent each day, um, the way that you submit work, so that we can get used to it and problem solve around any issues. So RTI Genius Hour, students are gonna be working from a reading log every day. So this should really be the only assignment. Um, so the reading log is over here. So where your work is, it's over here. Basically you put the date, the title of the book you're reading or article, the genre, the lens or goal you're focusing on, and then writing a response. Um, shout out to Nyla who had a really nice long response here and I was able to give her some feedback. Um, here is just another document to support you. So these are some questions um, to think about. And this is how you can choose your lens based on what genre you're reading. 
Um, so that's just um, a tool to help you. And I know that there's other ELA tools in your remote learning packet. All right, let's keep going. Uh, next, math workshop, complete math work in remote learning packet or on blank paper, snap a picture and upload. So that's gonna be very similar to problem of the day. Go to math workshop, go to Tuesday. I attached a video to help you. I attached um, a copy of the work in case you don't have the packet, but otherwise you could do the work in your packet, write it out, snap a picture and upload it to your work and submit. Reading workshop, read the play, Roberto Clement, an American legend, use the Google forms to complete the multiple choice. That's a little bit different. So we're gonna go to reading and writing workshop. We're gonna start with reading workshop, that's up top. Um, I'm always gonna try to make sure the day, work of the day, it comes up first. Um, so here is the text. It's also in your test prep packet that you have. If not, it's uploaded here. Um, so please read it. And here's a Google Forms that you can put your answers for the multiple choice. Um, so once you're done, you can press submit and that way I can grade it real easy. And then when you're done, you can mark as done. Writing workshop, finish the writing, the extended response about the two texts, recycling electronic waste and a universal language, football for dreams. Type up your essay in the Google Doc. So let's go to classwork. Let's go back to reading and writing. So this is the second assignment. And again, I just attached a lot of resources for you, but this is where you would do the work. So you go into this document and you can type your essay here. Um, so I have a little picture to just remind you of the prompt and then students can write their essay. If you wanted to get rid of the picture, you could delete it. Um, and so that just has your essay. Um, so other things I included, just for your reference, I included um, the text so that in case you need to reference it, I have the extended response rubric so you know how you get graded and um, the checklist to help you just make sure you have the different components of an extended response. Um, so again, sometimes I'll attach resources here. That doesn't mean you need to act on them. They're just to support you in that work. Um, so that is it for today or tomorrow. I'm doing this on Monday. Um, please, please let me know if you have any questions and I can't wait to see all of your work. Bye.